Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. Today's Wednesday, and that means it's Freebie Wednesdays. And what you're gonna get today is a cool logo intro that you can use on anything that you want, and you can edit it. So it's gonna be a fusion composition that you get. And let me just open it up so you can see it right away. And this is what it looks like. So what you can do is you can edit pretty much anything. I wouldn't recommend that you edit the background because that's invisible. If you want, you can add color to it. But yeah, so you can change that. You, to replace these for your logo, you simply take these out and you can even put a text or any Im image that you have, you can attach it to this image plane and that will do the rest. Everything else is already keyframe. What a few things you can do is if you don't like this spotlight, if you want it to be seen all the time, you can get rid of this and then on the renderer, you will take out the lighting here. So that will deactivate it and it will look a little bit different. You see here, it doesn't look, it's a little bit more flat, but I added it so it doesn't look that flat, but it's up to you. Then another thing that you can change is the duplicate here. Uh, you can change the keyframes if, if you want. You can animate them, whatever you want. You can change it. Just make sure that you have another copy that if you mess up something, you can just go back to it so you don't lose it. Uh, and then you can also change here these processing colors, which is what adds that sort of like ghost color effect. And these two of them have the same thing. They're different channels on each of them so that you can play around with them and then you can play around with pretty much anything that you can think of then the camera shake if you don't like it being too shaky if you want to edit this you would simply instead of go you I would, i'd recommend that you leave these two things from the edges the intro and the outro to be zero like they are but you can play around with the beginning and then changes change these settings or you can also add another keyframe with different settings so it's a little bit more jumpy but yeah so that is pretty much it so how do you import this future composition well i do have an uh, tutorial on how to import a future composition but one thing that you can do really quick is you simply go to where you have the download folder and you can drag the settings the dot settings file and it will basically bring it into your timeline as it is right now so yeah that is pretty much it so i hope that you enjoy this video and that you enjoy this logo you can play around with it and maybe if you use it on your channel you can tag me so i can see how you use it and what kind of cool things you were able to do with it so yeah without further ado i just want to say thanks for watching and once again i hope to see you in the next video here in suave